Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems, coming to you from the beautiful Harden Power backyard in Middle Tennessee. Wanted to take uh, just a few minutes and introduce you to um, another new product for us. Many of you may be familiar with with the, the Long Shot, um, which is a product that, uh, that, that we invented and developed. We manufacture it and we sell it. Um, it is exclusively for the GoPro Series 3 cameras. It addresses the, uh, the battery life issue that, that became uh, and still is uh, pretty chronic with the latest release of the cameras with the, the smaller, more powerful, lighter, which it is, camera. Um, and, then, uh, and then the battery, which has a, a difficult time supporting some of the, uh, the, the strong functions of that new camera. Um, and, uh, and that translates into some, some really short battery life, especially if you're running ProTune and high resolution and Wi-Fi and things like that. In any case, the, the long shot is a system that allows uh, a continuous DC power connection to the GoPro cameras. Um, to the best of our knowledge, it is the only system in the world that, uh, that not only provides that continuous DC connection, um, but, uh, but the umbilical, the connection to the camera case, is waterproof. Um, it's dustproof as well, of course, but it's, it's a waterproof connection. Um, and, and some people wonder about that. Uh, the, uh, what we call the head unit, which is a, a modified back door from a, a GoPro waterproof housing, and then the, the dummy battery that we manufacture, which... Uh, which includes some electronics for, uh, for controlling power, and it also includes, and you might be able to see it here, um, a, uh, a waterproof umbilical connection. Uh, it, it's essentially uh, a combination of, of epoxy and, uh, and a, a two-sided foam tape that allows a little bit of movement, some play on the battery, which facilitates inserting into the camera. Um, in any event, the uh, a long shot user would buy uh, this door unit, our head unit, and they would combine that with the power control module. And the power control module allows the connection to any any DC power source between uh, between about nine volts on up to uh, about 36 volts. Um, and and that's significant if you're running uh, off of different vehicles. Uh, uh, airplanes and and, uh, and 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 vehicles that might have a or military vehicles have a 24 volt system, um, or if you're just uh, uh, frankly running a battery until it's practically dead. And in uh, in the case of most devices, they would have hit the cutoff voltage and stopped at perhaps 11 volts or 10 volts or whatever. Um, but in any event, the the long shot will will take uh, a broad range of DC voltages, convert that to the correct voltage for the camera, and uh, and power the uh, the GoPro cameras continuously. Um, uh, we've had a, a a lot of success with this. Real happy with it. Um, a lot of people that uh, were were spending a lot of time and money, or wasting a lot of time and money, dealing with the the, the short battery life. Um, the long shot for them is a is a solution. Um, and, and and as is typical of most of our gear, this power control module is waterproof, almost crush proof. Um, uh, we just had uh, a test flight um, this morning uh, in Denmark with a, a dual system that was attached to to an airplane for aerial photography. So, you know, the the, the unit is strapped on the outside of an airplane, and uh, and it tolerates conditions like that. Um, but the point of the video is not necessarily to talk about the long shot, although you might think it is. Um, but by way of introduction, that's the long shot system. It requires the 12 volt um, power supply, or again, more likely uh, 9 volts on up to 30. Um, but because we use a secondary set of electronics in the head unit that, that do the final conditioning of the power when it hits the camera, it opened up an interesting possibility. Um, and we've, we've had several uh, requests for this. And then uh, here most recently, another request from a construction company uh, that, that had us, uh, that, that prompted us to go ahead and spend the R&D time. And what we have is a, uh, a 
USB version of the long shot. And the head unit is standard. It's a normal head unit. Um, but uh, the cool thing about this is that native USB is 5 volts. So you're close to what the GoPro cameras want. So, for example, if we take one of our Wii volts, um, which is one of our armored battery systems, and this is a, a 12 volt or USB uh, armored uh, power supply. If we take this and we connect the long shot via the USB, then we have a, a method of powering the camera that uh, is using as its power supply should turn on there is using as its power supply any USB power source. Now a couple of things about this that are very cool. The long shot system is uh, $245. Um, Obviously, we feel it's worth that, or we wouldn't be asking that for it. Um, but uh, a big part of that cost is the work that goes into the power control module. Um, this. Okay. Now, you might be in a situation where you need that, where you're pulling 12 volts off a vehicle or off of a battery or off some sort of uh, uh, standalone system. Um, that might just work for you. But if you're just a guy with a GoPro and you want to run it longer and you don't have much money to spend, you don't have to buy one of our Weevils or one of our Revolts or some kind of military grade high end power supply. Stop at Walmart, spend 50 bucks, get a Chinese made USB battery supply, um, buy our long shot USB system, plug it in and go. Uh, basically what this allows us to do is to take a solution that normally is $245 just to that's the price of admission, just to, to get one unit. Um, and uh, if you can supply your own USB power source, then for $130, you can buy our long shot USB. And that long shot USB comes with the head unit, with the conversion electronics built in, and it comes with the pigtail that will plug into any USB power source. One last thing that's pretty cool. If you do choose to use a, uh, a Weevil, you could take a 5 watt panel like this, plug it into the Weevil, charge from the sun, and while this system is charging, you can have it powering the long shot USB. Um, I, I'm sure there's many applications that uh, that other people are going to be better than us or coming up there will be coming up with ways to make it work. Um, but for any event, that that combination, the the Weevolt and a five watt panel we sell for 220 bucks. Um, so if you do have some sort of some use where where you need that camera to run uh, uh, continuously or very nearly continuously and uh, if you're not close to an easy source of power, we can help you with that. So in any event, the system is the long shot USB. It's $130. Uh, it's one of the least expensive things that, that, that we offer. Um, it works very well. We're very happy about it. We want to thank the, the last customer that pushed us hard enough to go ahead and do the R&D. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. Please come see us at PortableUniversalPower.com. Uh, this is Bill Harrison with Harden Power Systems. Thank you very much for your time. You folks take care. God bless.